And here to talk with us about the Crew 3 mission and the incredible research that they'll be doing as NASA astronauts is Dr. Johnny Kim. He's also a former Navy SEAL and completed over 100 combat operations. Dr. Kim, it is so good to see you this morning. So as I mentioned, you are a Navy SEAL. So how did your SEAL training prepare you to be an astronaut? <laughs> I'm here to talk about Crew 3, but... But to answer your question, uh, I think it prepared me in the same way that we prepare ourselves for a lot of difficult things, challenging ourselves, working with teammates to accomplish a mission. And those are the same traits that I, I really see and enjoy with my colleagues that are about to launch here in space very soon. And Dr. Kim, this is the third rotation of astronauts, the fourth flight overall for NASA and SpaceX to the ISS. What do you think can be learned from this mission? That's a great question. There's, there's so many things to learn. We're doing science projects every single day, learning more about immune cell function, our bodies, how our bodies react to long duration space flight, uh, as you know, there is microgravity on the orbiting lab of, that we call the International Space Station. And that does some funky things to our body when we don't have the presence of gravity um, interacting with us. And when we're going to go do long duration space flights to the moon, to the Mars, we need to understand how our bodies are going to react. So these long duration space missions to the International Space Station, they help us learn more about ourselves, about science, and about future missions. Can you talk a little bit about the impact that going into space has on the body? How much time do we have? <laughs> well, we have we 60 seconds. I mean, we would love to spend an, an entire hour <laughs> with you, but I mean, can you just quickly summarize what impact does it have on your body? So I think the most obvious one that we have a great success story of combating is the effects that microgravity has on our bone function. Our bones are a really complex interweave uh, of tissue um, and cells, and it provides us the ability to withstand the forces of gravity. When we don't have that, our bones, our bone density decreases significantly. So one of the countermeasures we've learned from doing these long duration space flights is, hey, you need to work out these astronauts when they're in space. They need to be squatting, they need to be lifting, they need, they need axial loads. And so we have machines on the space station that can pro basically provide uh, an opportunity for astronauts to work out and lift weights as if they were on the ground here. Interesting stuff. Now, uh, I'm a Trekkie, okay? Britta knows this. I talk all the time about Star Trek, and I one day would love to go to space. So how is NASA's work paving a path where more people like me can one day go to space? I, it's a, I think you're already seeing it. So... Years ago, NASA envisioned this commercial market, a strong commercial market, where we, NASA, could just be one of many customers purchasing and collaborating with a commercial provider like SpaceX to get a ticket to the space station. And that work has laid the foundation for these commercial providers to provide these services. And you've seen that even this, this year. You've seen private astronauts take missions to space. And a lot of that was enabled because of the years of work and foundation uh, NASA and our collaborators have made to create this commercial market for space. So absolutely, I think one we are going to see it. We are seeing it already in our lifetimes, access to space for more people. And this just makes me so excited for, for my kids because I grew up as a shuttle mission kid and now they're getting to see this whole new wave of, of space flight. I do want to ask you, Dr. Kim, uh, you've been selected for the Artemis program. So how is Sunday's launch really helping you prepare and NASA prepare for that? I think what I'm most excited for, and I think it does prepare me, but I'm really excited to see some of my closest friends on the tip of that rocket launch to space. And if you haven't seen a launch, I really shut a launch or uh, one of these commercial launches, I really encourage you to see it. It's just one of the most beautiful things. It's beautiful on camera, on video, but to watch it in live is just uh, it's a really emotional experience, especially when you know the people that are on the tip of that rocket. And I think Every mission we do to space prepares us for the next step, pushes the envelope a little bit further, 
helps us understand what we know and we, what we don't know. So uh, this launch and many others in the future are all going to contribute when we finally take those first steps on the moon. And every launch is so special, but I just want to ask you, how does it feel to see the launches actually happening from American soil? It's been wonderful that we've had these partnerships with other countries to still continue our flight into space. But for someone who, I, I know that you're a very humble person, uh, but quite honestly, sir, you are an American hero. It's incredible and we thank you for your service. It's got to give you such a great feeling to see this happening from American soil. It, it does. I think it's just, uh, it's the collective experiences and contributions of so many people that have enabled something so beautiful like that to happen. And that's what we are at America. We, we lean on each other, especially when times are tough. We, we work together. We challenge ourselves. We make the impossible possible. So to see something like that is absolutely amazing and absolutely makes me proud to be an American. Well, I am so excited for you. I'm excited for America and NASA and SpaceX. And let's go launch on Sunday. Thank you so much. Go Crew 3.